Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to the Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to craft the new level 90, 4 star, 35 and 70 durability materials and gear with the new script set. This is the 620 Artful Afflatus script set. Now unfortunately this has a unique ring, which means you only can use one. That means the other ring must be the indicator ring of crafting. Okay, that's unfortunate. And you're also are going to need a soul stone because the stats are just not enough because you can't overmeld. You can use this set to make the indicator ring a little bit easier because I did it last time with the perfectionist set, which is the last one. I think it was 6.2. So because this is stronger, this should be able to make the indicator gear that much easier. But you're going to be swapping out for integral ring in order to fill that slot. Okay, so once you have this made, you're going to meld it with Craftsmanship 10, Control 10, Craftsmanship 9, CP 9, and Control 4. As for the rest, the main hand and off hand will have a Control 10, Headpiece, Control 10, Craftsmanship 10, Body, 2, Craftsmanship 10s, same thing with the hands, and for the legs and feet, Control 10s. For earrings, Control 10, Control 10 for the neck, wrist, and the first ring. So your soul stone will give you 20 craftsmanship, 20 control, and 15 CP. You unlock this in Mordona by talking to the Rogadan next to the script exchange. And then you'll go to the Astrologians Guild to talk to the NPC who will give you your three soul stones for free. The subsequent ones you have to get with white scripts. And you only can swap three times per week and it resets every Tuesday. So I recommend to use this on Blacksmith, Alchemist, and Leatherworker. Make as many alchemists as humanly possible, okay, because they come in threes and swap out your alchemist specialist for the weaver. And then when you're done making as much materials as you want, switch over to the carpenter and do that. And then if you want to make food, switch over to that. So it's really annoying to have to do a specialist, but if you don't want it, you're gonna to have to start making the indicator set. But this is just for people who don't want to waste time melding. So the stats are 3996 craftsmanship, 3687 control, and 526 CP without the food and the draft. So we're going to use the high quality biryani and the CP draft. So now we're looking at 633 CP, 3996 craftsmanship, and 3777 control. No goods or excellence are required. And we're going to do the 35 durability. If there's any goods or excellence during this rotation, I do have everything pre-recorded without failure. So let's just hope that we don't get any. Oh, also make sure that you have double nations to use the specialist heart and soul because you have to use them to make that ability work. It takes you right out of the inventory. The heart and soul allows you to use any ability that requires good or excellence, so precise touch, synthesis, and tricks of the trade. Okay. So the rotation for 35 is going to be Muscle Memory, Manipulation, Veneration, Waste Not 2, 2 Ground Works, Innovation, 4 Prep Touches, Awesome so far. Master's Mend, Innovation, Heart and Soul does not use any steps, so don't worry about durability loss. So it pops a Delination, and now we can go ahead and use our Condition Ability, Precise Touch, which gives you two stacks of Inner Quiet for the price of one. After that, Basic Touch. Great Strides. And Baragats. Perfect. And go ahead and do basic synthesis. And that is for the 35 durability. Unassisted by goods or excellence. Alright. Now we are going to be doing the 70 durability. Now you're going to need around, I think it was 5,300 starter quality. So that's going to be the Alkahest, the level. 90 basic material then two i believe of these remember the amount of items in the recipe determines how much high quality that these items give you so you might need more all right 
Oh, also, if you do get a good or excellent during the Heart and Soul stat, you can just skip the delination altogether and just use the actual condition. So muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, waste not two. Okay, perfect opportunity. You usually would do Heart and Soul right here, but we're doing what I just said and using the good to actually use Intensive Synthesis, since it is stronger than a Groundwork buffed. Now we continue with groundwork. Groundwork. Innovation. Prep touch once. Basic touch. Standard touch. Gotta go into the menu and use advanced. All right, now we do innovation again. And then we do five prudent touches. Wow, I am shocked I'm not getting any goods. Perfect timing. All right, so after that, reapply innovation. So let's get rid of that good. Another prudent touch. Awesome. And train finesse. Great strides. Power guts. So we're at 10,445 without any assistance. So after that, we are going to do careful synthesis. And then you're going to do basic synthesis. And voila. Unassisted, finding goods of excellence with the script set and the specialist. All right, so you don't really need that much stats to actually make this. So I guess you can say minimal stats, minimal melds, possibly. I would honestly would have to use uh, these melds here on my extra indicator set that I have and test that out properly. So I can honestly say maybe 39, 96, 37, 77, 633 is most likely going to be the lowest. Or in this case, if I take this off, 526, 3996, and 3687 might be the lowest. But that is with the script set. I honestly would not recommend doing it this way because the soul stone is just inconvenient, but that's how you do it. Simple and easy. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new from all Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, the link is in the about section down below. And if you like what I do here on YouTube and want to support me further, I do have YouTube memberships available. So until next time, if you're ever walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging my head. And if you're doing this, good luck.